Taking flats with our aster images is one of the key and most important things we can do to calibrate all of those hours of data that we work so hard to collect and make them look like great aster images. The last thing you wanna see is things like this in your images right here, which is dust motes and all that fancy stuff that we collect throughout the night in our imaging train. But most of us use cheaper things like these light panels and we gotta use t-shirts and this and that and it makes the whole experience just not fun. But what if there is a way to automate that and make it all fantastic? Well, there is and it's right here. Today we're gonna to talk about the Deep Sky Dad flat panels. I'm Chad, this is the EC Astro Images channel and we are gonna play with some photons today. What's up guys? Super happy that everybody is back here with me on the channel. This is a pretty important thing and something that I just didn't realize that I needed until I saw it. Quite honestly, I did not even know about uh, the Deep Sky Dad company, and I've been into astrophotography now for years. Uh, I've had various flat panels like this, and if we look at the the usual stuff that people have had, you know, there's the Spica flat, which was pretty popular, but they are out of business now. Uh, there's the Pegasus Astro uh, Flatmaster, which I actually owned before, and the problem with the Flatmaster is that. It just did not have the correct brightness settings. No matter what, I still had to diffuse it with multiple layers of like diffusion paper or whatever. But I can happily say that this flat panel that I got for my Red Cat, which by the way, he makes flat panels for nearly every telescope, the exact same one here, and it'll work with Nina or even your ASI Air. We'll talk about more of that in a second. And you know, these things are for, literally for the price of a filter. You are gonna have an automatic ASCOM controlled flat panel. That's right, you can control this baby right here through Nina. If you look in your equipment and you go to flat panel, you've got all of your different brightness settings. You can open it, you can close it, you can just do everything. And you can also go into the flat wizard and you can train this thing with your filters. So it will automatically do your times and your brightness settings on your flat panel. It'll even open and close it within the advanced sequencer here. So that way you can add a flat sequence to the beginning of your imaging session, the end, whatever you wanna do. You can take dark flats with this and you don't have to do anything. You're able to achieve any brightness level without doing any kind of crazy diffusions or anything at all. So we'll look a little bit more here at the actual flat panels that they sell. They're pretty much all the same design. Um, you know, of course, I've got the one for the Red Cat 51, which is right here. And you know, this stuff comes from Eastern Europe. Uh, I'm not 100% sure where they're at, Slovenia or something. I'm sure we can just go ahead and check that out under contact. Yep, Slovenia. That is what I thought. And, you know, they ship in bulk. So, you know, two to three weeks to shipping sometimes, depending upon their schedule. But then they use DHL. And once it goes DHL, you've got it in literally like two to three days. So you can add dew heaters to these things. Um, they just slip right on the end of your telescope and they fit with a compression ring design. It's super sturdy. Each one needs a micro USB and a 12 volt uh, port that you would have either off of the ASI Air or the Pocket Power Box. And the thing that's cool about these is if you are using an ASI Air, you can actually, there's a, a manual switch on this thing. So all you really need to do is just hook it up to power, tap it once, it'll open. Tap it again, it'll close, double tap, and that will turn it on. And then you can actually change your brightness levels that way as well. You know, when it works with the ASI Air, you might have to fuss around a little bit more to get the proper brightness setting for your actual filters that you're using, if you're using filters, um, or you can just use the ASI Air automatic setting and dial things in perfectly. Uh, this flat panel would work perfectly for people that have something like, you know, the 20, uh, 294 uh, mm or even the 294, which we know is kind of notorious. Uh, for needing uh, flats so that way you're able to like properly train everything and you can see I've got two filters set up here my uh, dual narrow band and then my RGB 
and I'm shooting like 3.66, 4.2, um, you know, with a brightness setting of 33 and 255. And this thing goes all the way up to like 4,096. So there is a ton of brightness levels built into this thing. Um, it's super great. So again, you know, you can just capture flats so easy with this. No more pointing at the sky, nothing fully automated, which is basically what I am going for with my beautiful little red cat setup. You know, the pandemic scope that everybody got that I finally have just turned to after all these years and trying all of these different scopes. Absolutely loving it getting some great images, the best images ever out of this thing. And this little puppy here is going to uh, really make a big difference in my imaging. And uh, we're gonna start playing with it tonight. Can't wait to do that. And uh, we've also got some other uh, products coming um, from Deep Space Dad as well for the Red Cat. So I'm pretty excited about that. And we'll be talking about that stuff here on the channel. So for 250, 300 bucks, get rid of this, get rid of the t-shirt. And, you know, go with something like this for sure. It is going to make your life way easier. You're going to be able to capture those flats like crazy and, uh, you know, get rid of that brute force method of uh, trying to get the best data possible. And this is what's going to unlock all that potential. So that's it, guys. If you got any questions about anything, let me know. And I'm sure we will be talking about this baby here in the future. Peace.